Hello, I am Chucky J, and we're here playing the Oregon Trail. The Oregon Trail? The Oregon Trail. Um, this is pretty exciting. Um, I certainly played this a lot back in the day on the Apple II, maybe even a little bit on PCs. Um, and this is a new version where they've added a lot of new capabilities, um, some new challenges, um, quests, all kinds of different things. There's kind of an RPG element to it. And um, interestingly, they worked with some Native American historians to try to bring them into the game in a different way. And hopefully, I, I think that's a really cool idea. Hopefully it makes sense. I mean, th this is not the most historically accurate game, but they certainly tried back in the day. They wanted to make a game that was about a historical thing. Um, so I am interested to see how they do that. It sounds like some of them are even can join your party, which would be very interesting, very cool. Um, what I'm wondering is, does it really make sense for a Native American to join a party like this from the start? Maybe it makes more sense for them to be out west, you know, halfway there and then join you? I don't know. Um, I am definitely not an Old West historian, but I have a tiny bit of knowledge. Um, so this is really interesting. They even have this weekly events thing. Let's see what this says. Community goal, build the railroad. Let's see, you need to exchange gameplay information with our servers. This information is not linked to you. If you tap not now, you will be, won't be able to use these features. There's apparently a fishing mini game, just like there's a hunting mini game, um, which I do not know how to do. Um, I watched people play the tutorial or the um, prologue, and I didn't see fishing in there. I did see hunting, um, which I I know how to do. I just don't know how to trigger it. Um, and I think it ha happens automatically in the prologue. Um, I've watched a little bit of gameplay, and people just keep trotting right past animals that they could poten potentially hunt. Um, so we're going to try to um, hunt at appropriate times. Um, so if you've never seen this before, it's about a caravan of people, you know, trying to get to Oregon um, to start a new life there. Um, it, the theory is that, you know, there would be lots of opportunity to do whatever, to own land out west. Okay, so let's get going on the Oregon Trail. If we unlock, if we get there, we get a grandfather clock and we unlock the Oregon or Bust journey. So if we go back, there's a bunch of these things that we can't do, they're locked. We can't do these. Interestingly, there's the Tw Tranquil Trail which is a non-interactive, like, trip to Oregon, I guess. Um, California trip, so going to the Gold Rush instead. Just going to see nature, etc., etc. But we're doing the original, as close as you can get to the original, Oregon trip. Okay, we're trying to get to Oregon City from Independence. Your first journey begins in Independence. Reach a fort to unlock it as a fast travel location. Once unlocked, you can hire a guide to take you straight there on your next attempt to reach Oregon. This does feel weird to me. Like, to me, the Oregon Trail is always starting in Independence and trying to make it to Oregon. Um, but I know there's difficulty levels now and all kinds of other things, so maybe it does make sense to be able to, you know, skip to here if, uh, if you've made it that far.
All right, we're starting out on May 1st. One of the challenges in the original game was getting to Oregon before the, the winter weather does serious damage to you. So you don't want to go too slow. Okay. Take a journey across 2,000 miles of plains, rivers, and mountains. If for some reason you don't survive, your wagons bur burns, or thieves steal your oxen, or you run out of provisions, or you die of cholera, don't give up. Try again and again and again. Okay, now we pick our party members. And Levi here... So I'm going to try and pick the good ones. But you want to balance. Like, let's say our only farmer, or our best farmer, had a really bad trait. We probably... For this first attempt, I'll probably still take the farmer. Um, but since this is our first party member... Okay, I, I do want to look at what these things mean. I mean, heroic and athletic, that's pretty self-explanatory. Pessimistic, that's pretty self-explanatory. Wily, a chronic liar, frequently employing dishonesty and half-truths. That doesn't sound good to me. I mean, we would get the 50. Frail, physically weak and prone to tiredness, that's not good for going on an adventure and egotistical. So the, both of those are negative, whereas this guy has two positives. So we're definitely doing Levi. So we have the missionary, right? Now we have a farmer who is charming and messy. A banker who is wily and pessimistic. That doesn't sound good. Uh, or an adventurer who is frail and pugnacious. Inclined to aggressive behavior. Uh, I mean, messy. I mean, I. There are more aspects to this game than there have been in the past. Like there is apparently hygiene. Like there's an actual hygiene number. Um, stuff that may have been tracked kind of in the background in older games is now kind of front and center. But still, I'm gonna pick the farmer. We need a farm. Well. If I want a balanced group, we need a farm. Okay. So we have a farmer now. Look at this. This is all terrible. Oh, no. So, my understanding is you can recruit new party members. Further along the line. So, maybe we get someone who will help us get there? Uh, like, what if we don't get a banker on the next one? We'll just have less money. I think we go for the frail adventurer, even though that's probably a bad idea. Um... Hopefully we, we can replace him at a fort or something. Aha! Heroic and egotistical. Or refined and wily. Or paranoid and messy. Seems like maybe, maybe because this is our first time, they are... They want us to have a banker. Okay, I think we need the heroic one. Alright, that's our team. And we'll leave the names. Okay, so I have seen this part. There are these built-in boxes here. I don't know how you... Oh, right-click. Okay. Right click moves you between them, left click like chooses it. Okay. This seem does seem like the most balanced. Um, you've got some bullets, you've got some medicine, you've got some toolboxes to repair your wagon. You have some clothes, a little bit of coffee, 175 flour for making bread or whatever. 
Um, maybe we start there and then add some things. Or do we start from scratch? I think we go with this. And then we're gonna keep shopping. And no, we want we want the wagon to be the big the medium sized one. Please don't mess me up when it comes to that. Okay. Wagons. Yeah, that better not mess me up. Okay, should we get some fishing? I think we should. Collection of lures and organic bait to attract various fish. Let's do that. Um, no more coffee. We have some clothes. How about a little bit of... What is this? Grease? We already have three replacements of each of these things. That's good. Hmm. Maybe one of these prevents wagon wear for a few days. Okay, let's see what we got. So we have the medium-sized wagon. This is the hymn book, which the missionary is bringing, the harmonica, which the farmer brings, the guidebook, which the adventurer brings, um, and the banker's bringing the money, the one coffee. Yeah, this seems good. Okay, let's do this. Here we go. So we could just head out now. I think we should do some talking. So there's this Moses Harris guy who was the guy in the prologue. Um, apparently he is dying, but he wants to like say goodbye um, to the team. So we can do that real quick. Party heard that the famous mountain man Moses Harris is staying in town and decides to seek out his advice. Unfortunately, they find him in rather poor condition. He's laid out in his hotel bed, dehydrated and clearly in pain. Despite his suffering, he agrees to talk to the party and share what wisdom he has. Ask about adventure. We were out on the Black Hills, no meat and snow 50 foot deep. One day we crossed a canyon and made it into the prairie. There was green grass, green trees, and birds singing. All this in February, we all sung out hurrah. Despite being exhausted, Moses Harris starts to tell a story. I was hungry, so I went for one of those singing birds. The critter came down in pieces, head rolling right off its body and still singing. It was made of stone. His eyes are wide as he recalls the shocking details. We took an axe to a tree, but got nothing but stone. All our animals stood shaking over the grass, and I swear it was made of stone too. Can you imagine a whole petrified forest? The earnestness in his voice is quite evident as the strange tale comes to an end. So, don't know what that's about. I don't imagine I've got much time left. I think I've got a different sort of journey ahead of me. And I'm going somewhere I haven't been before. No matter, nothing to do but face what's been put in front of us. I know I have to make this journey alone. Uh, that's kind of sad. Okay. Let's leave, leave him. Let's see, D Douglas here has a quest for us, probably. Greetings, fellow travels. Are you heading to Oregon? Perhaps you can help, help me out. I met this woman here. She left her, with her family heading to Oregon. I very much wish to see her again. Ava was her name. You haven't met her, have you? She is incredible, radiant as the sun itself and twice as bright. The most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Friend, I can call you that, yes? You must help me find her. Please, if you run into Ava anywhere on the trail, tell her about me. Tell her Douglas, that's me. We'll meet her at Fort Laramie. 
All right, let's try and help Douglas find his maybe one, one true love. Okay. Um, we could do more trading. We can do services here. But in theory, we're, we're at full. Can we see our party? I guess we can here. Uh, potentially, like, Lucian could use some more hygiene. He's the, is he the guy that is messy? Yeah. So we could send Lucian to the barber. I wonder what that costs. Welcome, my success is in your tonsorial satisfaction. I have service for all, even the hairless. So, I can send Lucy in to see the barber for $5. Okay, good. Alright. Uh, we're not going to worry about the other ones. Um, so, I think we depart. Let's go. We've got quite a crew here. All right, our first goal is to get to the Kansas River Crossing. I guess if we reach the next settlement in nine days, we get 49 coins. And if we avoid a broken leg, we get 183 flour. Is that what that means? Okay, so now, so we're trying to get here. Um... We don't know what these things are. Let's try traveling here. Spirits are high. Everyone is in peak physical condition. The wagon is stocked and the party is filled with vim and vigor. Alright, we have reached independence. Okay, so what I'm going to do is look at... See, this is like, how do we hunt when the time comes? Okay, so we've got our locations. We've got our quest. Um, let's look at the controls. See, this doesn't say. When we see animals, I want to be able to hunt them. I guess we'll see. Okay, twelve. We're eating twelve pounds per day, and we're going. We're going at twelve hours per day. So I'm mostly gonna stay in this medium, but occasionally I will like update us to grueling or something like that, just to make extra time. In fact, since we're early, let's maybe go grueling, just for a little while. Okay, a bright cluster of berry bushes surrounds a nearby rock. A stark contrast with the dusty browns of the trail. The berries are not readily identifiable and may be unsafe to eat. If they are indeed edible, however, they might make a fine supplement for dried rations. What should be done? Can we inspect the berries? Okay, who's our farmer? Is it Francis? I think it's Francis. Someone planted these here to thwart us. Francis, paranoid, be convinces the party that the berries are poisonous. Oh no. It may be irrational paranoia, but better safe than sorry. And his, uh, like, whatever that number is went down. Okay, we're still on day one. Ooh. Who is this? The party is at a complete loss for words. It's not every day that a man falls from the sky. Regardless, the responsible thing might be to offer some assistance, assuming he survived the fall.
Consarn it all. Looks like I've run out of steam again. I knew these engines were nothing but trouble. Excuse me, where are my manners? My name is Samuel Peppard, and I thank you kindly for your help just now. What you just witnessed was my latest invention, a flying machine. Though I admit it is something of a work in progress. So I'm assuming that this is not something that happens in every game. Um, but I have seen it in other people's first games, so maybe it happens to everyone. All that's missing is the right source of power. Steam engines, modern though they may be, are simply not up to the task. Samuel Picard strokes his chin in thought. Marvel at his idea. Sure. You're quite right to be impressed. I have studied the work of Sir George Cayley, an English inventor who has already built a working, heavier-than-air glider. It's only a matter of time before humanity achieves the dream of powered flight. Very cool. My dream is that an American will be the first to make such a flight. Indeed, if the winds are favorable, I see no reason why it shouldn't be me. Samuel Pepard looks very excited. Perhaps we will see each other again. After all, who knows what the future holds. I shall endeavor to spy you from above. Okay, we're on day two. Francis's stamina went down. Ah, hunting, okay. Hunting is ideally suited to those who have spent time in the wilderness, requiring a keen s shooting skill. Um, no, so it wouldn't be Lucy and it would be Francis, right? Oh no. Why does he only have a two? W-A-S-D and space to shoot or click. Okay. I would love to play this on Xbox, but it's only on Switch right now. Probably enough. Especially since this guy lost stamina. Let's see what we got. 60 pounds! Yay! Okay, stam his stamina is down again. So, after a success successful hunt, Francis carries 60 pounds of meat back to storage. Francis can spend some time skinning the animals for valuable pelts, or press on down the trail to save some time. Let's get some pelts. We lost eight hours. Francis manages to obtain some pelts, though without a knife, he can't gather nearly as many. Knives can be unlocked by completing the Bitter Winter Journey. Okay, so we're going to change back to Strenuous. Okay, so that was a hunting ground. Maybe you have to make it to a hunting ground. Because I've seen, like, animals, like, even highlighted kind of in the middle area. I don't know. This is weird. Okay. Um, did we get something new here? Okay, we've already seen that. Oh, we have the new quest to see him. Okay. All right. Uh which one are we going to? Let's go south. Alright, now we're doing normal traveling speed, right? Let's just make sure. Yes. Okay, everybody's losing some energy. We should probably rest. An infernal... Oh, yeah. We're getting bit by bugs. Let's rest. I don't remember how to do that. Oh, 
but we're almost there. Maybe we have to rest at the next thing. On the map. There's horses here. Wild horses? The party comes across a field of lush grass perfect for grazing. It's a good place to give the oxen a break if there's time to spare. We're gonna rest, because our do our everybody needs rest. 17 hours lost. 10x recovered. What's 10x? We ate some meat. Okay, everybody seems refreshed and good spirits. I don't know why party morale would go down. Maybe because we still got these bugs or whatever. Oh, Lucian, because Lucian is dirty. Can we, like, force him to change his clothes or something? Ah, the group notices the flower supply is getting low. We should bake some hardtack. The party groans at the suggestion. Hardtack will stretch the supplies for longer, but it tastes miserable. We can just cook some of it as hardtack. Produces a number of hard, dry biscuits. Okay, so I'm thinking that... Because I clicked on that animal and it, like, gave me experience points. So I think that's what I need to be doing, is watching out for new animals. Okay, so, like, how can you, like... Is there anything we can do about... Lucian... Can we force them to change clothes or something? Hmm. I suppose not. It really stinks. Okay, I guess we keep going. Where are we at? We're coming up on the river crossing. immigrants welcome to the Kansas River how you choose to cross is the first real test of the trail don't don't even think about fording any river deeper than the wagon bed right question is how big are these wheels about two and a half feet you'll swamp your wagon and lose your supplies you can cock the wagon bed and float it or be smart and hire me to take your wagon on my ferry why not have a look around before you decide Okay. Um, talk. Let's talk to at least one person. Let's talk to Amy. We can't afford to take the ferry. We're making our wagon into a boat. We'll, we'll turn it over, caulk the bottom and sides with pitch, and use it to float our goods across. Have to swim the animals. Hope it doesn't rain. The river's high enough. Okay. Um... We could sell our pelts. Can we buy more clothing? Offers three pelts. Offers three coffee. 46 bullets. Three toolboxes. How about this guy that has coffee? I'm looking to trade. Buck offers... Oh. He wants all this. I guess coffee is very valuable. Um... Three pelts if we give him two medicine. Um, yeah. I need more clothing for this guy. He's nasty. Um, if we rest, does their hygiene increase? I don't think it did last time. 
Uh, Alright, let's see what Cross says. See, 2.1 feet. So, in theory, we should be able to afford it. 63%. Um, we could seal the wagon just in case. And use some of our pelts to do that. Um, I don't remember how many we have. One pelt increase, increase, increases us to 71%. Seventy-nine. Huh. The wagon's condition increases the chances of reaching the far side. Trade with others for materials to repair the wagon. The longer you wait, the more favorable the river conditions. Increases the chances of reaching the far side. Yeah, but I don't want to start spending time here, like now. And it's only 2.1 feet. Alright, we're going for it. Without further d delay, the party fastens down their supplies and prepares to enter the cold water, careful not to get swept away in the current. Okay, come on, oxen. Let's do this. Party scrambles up the muddy bank and returns to the trail. Alright, we got both. Very cool. <clears throat> Alright, so that's the end of part one of this journey. We will come back and head to Big Blue River in the next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you then.